what is up my crazy subscriber this is Joe King John City 4 and today people I'll be talking about the SMG called the MX-9 from Black Ops 4 but before we get into that topic hopefully you guys enjoyed today's gameplay which I managed to go 66 kills and 22 deaths I know the deaths might be a little bit too high but 66 kills right now is currently standing as my number two gameplay right now on Black Ops 4 my number one is currently standing at 67 so we missed it by one kill and also we are four shy away from 70 kills in total. Last time I achieved 70 kills in a single game in Call of Duty was actually back in Black Ops 3. And I know it's been a few years, but I know I can pull it off again here in Black Ops 4 since, you know, pretty much all my guns work so far. And I've been pretty much wrecking it up out there with averaging like around 30 kills per gameplay. So I know it's possible and you'll see it soon here in this channel in the next few weeks, hopefully. So uh, anyways, moving on back to the topic, I'm going to be talking about the MX-9 SMG, which I consider one of, one of the well-balanced SMGs right now in the game and one of the best starting SMGs right now that you can use to pad your stats up and pretty much be secure when it comes down to medium range combat and a little bit of the short range combat. When it comes down to long range though, this weapon is not that reliable because the damage does go down because it is an SMG. So the damage is going to be falling off every time you get further away from the enemy. Enemy. So make sure you keep it from medium range to short range if you guys want to use the MX-9. Now the thing is, when it comes down to short range, this, I don't kind of rely mostly on this gun. I mean, when it comes down to more open areas, like for example, firing range, just a lot of open areas, uh, the MX-9 should be able to work for you. So that's why I'm using it right now and uh, that's why you see like a bunch of kills like from medium range and you'll see it in this gameplay too. I did a lot of incredible stuff. Just keep an eye on the gameplay and you'll see how the MX-9 pretty much works solid when it comes down to medium range. Now when it comes down to short range with the MX-9 it kind of works mostly on the hip fire though. It's kind of weird but when you hip fire with the MX-9 it is more accurate than aiming down sights. And what am I talking about when it comes down to close range? I'm talking about like 5 feet within. So when it comes down to 5 feet within you'll see a little bit of a struggle. The recoil does pick up way too high for some odd reason. It's kind of unexplainable but you'll see it a few times when it comes down to close range combat and you'll see it right now right now in the gameplay you know when it happened to me maybe because the guy was lagging or something but I feel like the gun has more recoil when it comes down to close range combat but medium range combat is like super accurate as hell so I like this weapon because I can keep my distance I can keep my speed uh, keep my ass moving out there, you know, I'm not running too slow like with, like I do with the assault rifles and LMGs So you got a good amount of speed going on and also you got a good amount of range to take down enemies But do not use it on big wide open areas I'm not telling you guys to snipe across the damn map with an SMG do not do that This weapon does lose a lot of damage. So don't do that. Just keep it medium range like I keep saying in the whole video And that's gonna be the keyword medium range combat That's what this SMG is gonna be described as now, um, another thing is I do have a, a combination with a perk. This perk allows you to actually aim super quick and also kill enemies with a hip fire combat. Like once you start hip firing, you'll notice a little bit of a boost moving you forward. And that's actually going to make the bullets go into the enemy's body a lot quicker, which means you'll be able to kill them a lot faster before they even get to turn around. And you'll see it a few times also in this gameplay. I did manage to pull it off right now against the, the uh, against the ruin, and it was just a, like you know like a what the fuck moment. You know how do you speed yourself up forward like that? It just happened because of a certain perk, which I'll explain right now. Well, not right now. I'll actually explain on my next video of Call of Duty Black Ops 4. It's going to be a best class setup for the MX-9. This class setup, I want you guys to use it and test it out yourselves, so you guys can like kind of wreck it out out there, like I've been doing lately with the MX-9. I'm literally averaging 30 kills per gameplay to 27, which is still good though, because along the way you'll be calling in kill streaks, and uh, you know you'll be calling in choppers and all that stuff, all that stuff, which allows you to get even more kills. And right there and then, you should be able to impress your friends or your clan, or even join the clan that you wanted to join. And they'll be like, you know, where did you even learn this MX9 class setup? So um, that best class setup is coming up like on Thursday. Make sure you keep uh, your notifications on on my channel so you guys can keep an eye out for it because I want you guys to survive. I want you guys to win every single game out there. I'm not gonna put you down and tell you like, oh, you can't do better than me. Like, no, I want you guys to. Use my classes and i want you guys to dominate out there win the games man don't give up on the game the game is good i think you just need a good class setup and mine i think are gonna help you out to win the games so um 
I promise you guys, these classes are going to help you get all them kill streaks and all them kills like crazy. And people are going to be whining at you like, oh, you're hacking, you're hacking. Like, it's not. It's, that's not happening. You're just playing naturally. It's all about skill. And it's all about the best class setup of mine. And you'll see yourself growing in numbers right there. Your stats are going to increase. And even your KD is going to increase. So uh, you'll see the difference pretty soon for sure with the MX-9. It's a great starter weapon, by the way. Like, it's the first SMG to unlock, so a great beginner weapon that allows you to shoot from any kind of range, it's pretty much of a good weapon. Except for long range, like I said, it does drop in damage. So that is it, guys. I want to talk about the MX-9. If you guys got any more questions, any more groans or complaints, let me know in the comment section. So that is it. Make sure you subscribe for more. If you guys want to see more Call of Duty Black Ops 4.